how to use meta business suite application hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use a meta business suite application so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the play store and you're going to go ahead and in search for meta business app over here and you're going to need to install the application by clicking on the install button and once you do that it should be installed and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on open and open the application now for those of you who are using this for the first time what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to you know uh, enter in your email address or your phone number or your password and uh, you know log into your facebook account basically that's how it will work but if you don't have one you can go ahead and sign up with facebook and you know connect it with meta so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i will catch you guys in a little bit and over here as you can see once you have signed up this is how it will look like you can go ahead and you know see how it looks like so over here as you can see this is my facebook page right here and this is my home over here you have your posts over here you have your inbox over here then you have a bunch of different tools over here and you know you can even connect your uh facebook you know page over here and you can even connect your instagram page as well so simply click on click button over here you will have a bunch of different options as well so to actually you know connect your instagram page what you'll need to do is you'll need to open up your instagram over here you'll need to go to settings all right click on settings over here underneath privacy what you need to do is you're going to go ahead and come down over here and click on messages all right and you can add your facebook account over here and stuff like that so let's go ahead and add our facebook oh we can't do that we'll have to do that later so for now what we can do is we can go over here and click on account and over here we can go ahead and switch to professional account over here or we can add a new professional account it all depends on you so i will just go ahead and click on switch to professional account click on continue click on continue click on continue click on continue boom we're good to go you know you can go ahead and choose whichever category you fall into we'll just say we're digital creator we'll click on done wait a couple of seconds it might take up to 30 seconds to finish creating your professional account so just wait a couple of seconds and over here we have the business account and then we have the creator account we choose business and click on next over here check out your details and if everything looks good click on next and let me just connect log into the facebook account real quick and continue as this person yes and now we can go ahead and create a new facebook page we'll just create that click on next all right we can't do that we'll just skip this for now and once we've done that we should be able to connect with our business account so basically over here we have our stories right we have promote photo all right let me just go ahead and add change this real quick all right this is my facebook page so basically over here we have stories we have mentions we have photos we have planners we have a bunch of different options right so for example you know if you want you can go ahead and add a bunch of different posts as well so for example if you wanted to create a post or a story just simply click on create over here all right and then you can get messages as well send messages all right so you can do that as well so next thing what we can do is we can go ahead and you know start creating different posts so for example if you have a bunch of different accounts linked over here click on the plus button over here and you can create a post you can create a photo you can create a story or an ad it all depends on you you know for, let's just say that we're trying to create a uh, post right we'll just click on post and we'll just say anything over here we'll just say um happy tuesday I'll just add that emoji and then we can add a photo slash video as well we'll allow access to our gallery we'll add a you know photo over here we'll add this one all right we'll click on done all right and then we can add a feeling slash activity all right Flea will add that feeling we'll add location and we can add a bunch of people then we'll just simply click on next all right we can publish it now we can save it as draft or we can schedule for later and we can even boost this post as well we can publish an ad with your post to reach more people across the additional placements as well so it all depends on you so let's just go ahead and click on a schedule for later we'll just schedule it for 10 all right and it will just schedule it for 10 32 p.m all right you can only schedule post between 20 minutes or 75 days okay so we can't so i wish i would have shown you but i guess i can well you know uh you can go ahead and schedule it and then when the time is right it will automatically schedule 
and post that post for you so after that just simply click on publish and boom it might take a uh, minutes to publish your post but you are good to go that's how you basically do it so next thing what you can do is you have a bunch of different options as well so you have your inbox over here here you will get all of your comments you will get your instagram account over here so let me just go ahead and connect my instagram account as i said before you could do that click on connect account all right confirm let me just go over here to my instagram login over here and you know connect my account click on login next thing what we can do is we can log into our uh you know account for our facebook let me just go ahead and enter in my password log in okay so i basically can't connect my instagram account to my facebook account i don't know why this happens but basically once that's done you will be able to you know um do multiple things through this single app so basically if you wanted to you know create a post and you wanted to send a post you what you will be able to do is you will be able to you know uh create and send the post both on your facebook facebook page and on your instagram account as well so it's pretty amazing i don't know why i couldn't do that which is weird uh, i should be able to uh you know everything looks fine to me but you know i guess i can but for you it might be different as well so it all depends on you i hope you for you there was no error as well i don't know why i couldn't do that but basically that's basically it you know just simply create a page you can manage the page you can connect different uh, you know uh, applications that are owned by meta and then you can uh, publish different posts you know at once on all of those different applications as i said before so it's really amazing it's really fun so actually before i end this video let me try again actually let me just try again and connect my account you know one more time real quick i have now successfully uh connected my instagram account so this is how it looks like so over here as you can see my facebook page likes are over here on the uh, left side and uh, my instagram followers are over here on the right side so as you can see it looks pretty nice and over here in the inbox i have all the messages and stuff like that and then in the comments i have all the comments would appear over here as well and same goes here if i come over here and i click on add post all right i will be able to post anything on both my instagram page and my facebook page so for example let's just say if i wanted to post a video right just simply click on add photo i choose this photo right here and as you can see this is the exact same photo before i just simply click on done all right and now i will be able to write something and i can choose whether to post it on my facebook account or my instagram account and it all depends on you so that's how you do it and after that all you have to do is click on next and boom you're good to go so that's how you basically you know use meta business suite to manage both of your facebook page and your instagram page and it's really fun it's really easy and over here on the left side as you can see you have a bunch of different options you have ads appointments events insights and stuff like that so in ads you will be able to see all of your ads that you have created or if you want to create you can come over here into the create section and create an ad and then in the manage section you can go ahead and you can you know manage all of your ads that you have created and see how they're performing same with appointments you can see all of your appointments over here that people have made with you or you've made with people and then over here in the bottom we have events over here you can create different events and you will see the upcoming events and past events and insights you will be able to see all of the uh, trends as well all of the facebook page likes all of the uh, you know page visits and page research you will be able to get all of your information and insights and stuff like that so this is how you basically use meta business suite so i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that guys thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye